Okay, moving on to example eight. Notice um, we have triangle DEF, and the side measures are 13.4 inches, 8.8 .8 inches, and 15 inches. And you can see that none of the sides are equal, so it's a scalene triangle. If I tried to draw a perpendicular segment down here, there's no guarantees about how the base gets cut in half, so I can't necessarily use the Pythagorean theorem or anything to figure out the height. So this is a scenario where there's no way to find the height without other mathematics that you haven't learned yet. So now Hero's formula is the only option. So if I start off with my semi-perimeter on this one, the semi-perimeter is equal to the sum of the three sides, so it's 13.4 plus 8.8 .8 plus 15, all divided by 2. Okay. Um, either you can calculate that in your head or not. If you can, fine. If not, you use a calculator. So let's just grab a calculator and pretend we can't. 13.4 plus 8.8 .8 plus 15 equals, that's 37.2 over 2. Let me caution you right now, if you type in this whole thing here, go back to my calculator, if you type that whole thing, so you type in 13.4 plus 8.8 .8 plus 15 divided by 2. I've seen people try and do that. Okay, so I have it typed in here, right? Hit equals and then think that's the answer. Okay. I only divided 15 by 2, I didn't divide the sum by 2. So if I'm going to not do what I'm doing over there, which is get a single number on top or a single number on the bottom before I divide, I need to put a parentheses in front, 13.4 plus 8.8 .8 plus 15, and parentheses all divided by 2. I need to get a plus there, 8.8. .8. Helps to type it in right too. 13.4 plus 8.8 .8 plus 15 in parentheses. That means do this first and then divide by 2. That's the right value. So notice the difference between this and this. Here parentheses, here no parentheses, here right answer, here wrong answer. So be careful. Uh, I personally would evaluate the top completely, hit equals, write it on my paper. Evaluate the bottom completely, hit equals, write it on my paper, and then type in 37.2 divided by 2, and I get 18.6, which is correct. Obviously, 18.6 is not quite as pleasant as 12 was in the last problem. And the three sides were 6, 9, and 9. And here we got 13.4, 8.8, and 15. So it's a little bit more unpleasant. But again, the formula works the same as it did before. Area equals the square root of whatever S is times the other three numbers. And the other three numbers are just S minus each of these. And again, if you can do it mentally, fine. If not, use a calculator. 18.6 minus 3.4 is 5.2. 18.6 minus 8.8 .8 is 9.8. And 18.6 minus 15 is 3.6. I don't even write on my paper minus whatever. I just evaluate it. So again, if, it, and again, if I was using a calculator, 18.6 minus, was it? 13.4, minus 13.4, 18.6, minus 8.8, 18.6, minus 15. So again, you can get those numbers with the calculator if, you ne if necessary, but you want to get those numbers. Yes, Ashton? Where did you get 5 from? This one, 5.2. Mm -hmm. This side's 13.4. 18.6 minus 13.4 is 5.2. Again, that's the formula. That's how the formula works. Once you find out whatever S is, S is some number. It's always going to be a number bigger than all three sides. It, it has to be. So whatever that number is, subtract all three sides to get the other three numbers. And then once you get that set up, then it's just a matter of typing that in. Don't use parentheses in this step. So square root. It, when you hit the square root, it automatically puts that beginning parentheses. Just type the numbers with a multiplication in between. So 18.6 multiplied by 5.2 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 3.6. Then put it in parentheses. Don't put like parentheses, parentheses, and then you calculate gets all confused about what's underneath the radical. So square root parentheses, type the whole thing in, and parentheses. Use multiplication symbols, no parentheses in between hit equals and you get 58.41. Square inches. 
if they're using the little quotation mark to show inches, there's no quotation mark squared. So make sure you write IN squared, not quotation mark squared. I've seen people trying to do that in the past. It doesn't really have any meaning. So make sure that you're using IN squared for your square inches, units.